out for one of only two spots on that Olympic team. It's been a busy season for him. He's already done five competitions. You can bet he's a bit tired. But we are all so shocked to see him down in sixth place. I would never have imagined that. Right now, he's got to fire off all these tough jumps and really meet the challenge. The men's field is so strong, there's really no margin of error. The opens with the triple axle, triple toe loop. Look at the height on that jump. Unbelievable. That is the Alexi Yagudin that we know. But it doesn't stop here for the next jump. It'll be the quad toe.
shows maturity that he can rebound from finishing last in the short program and come back and do that. You know, Susie, you bring up a great point, though. It's not enough just to go out there and compete in one or two competitions a year and nail it. There is a major schedule that you have to meet, and it's about pacing yourself and meeting each challenge individually, and Yagudin has done a darn good job at that. Here comes his triple axle, triple toe. Look at the height. He propels himself up. Beautiful air position. Nice reach with his toe pick for this triple toe loop. Again, perfect. That guy has cannons for legs. The quad. Even though it was a little bit off, he's so familiar with the jump, he had no problem making sure he didn't fall. Nice footwork connecting into this Lutz jump. Makes the timing much more difficult. Gagudin scores for technical merit. And these are pretty consistent. This is more like the Alexi that we've come to know, hitting those huge jumps. All these scores solid from 5-7 up to 5-8. He put the short program behind him, skated well in the free program. He has worked hard to improve in his presentation. He has. It was a difficult program. He looked a little slow to me, but he did most of the elements. On the way, the American champ hoping to jump to the top. Will he need the quad to do it? We'll see Todd Eldridge on the ice when we 